An explanandum is a phenomenon that needs to be explained and its explanans is the explanation of that phenomenon. For example, one person may pose an explanandum by asking, why is there smoke? And another may provide an explanans by responding, because there is a fire. In this example, smoke is the explanandum, and fire is the explanans. In scientific method, Carl Gustav Hempel and Paul Oppenheim, in the deductive nomological model of scientific explanation, motivated the distinction between explanans and explanandum in order to answer why questions, rather than simply what questions. The event under discussion is explained by subsuming it under general laws, i.e., by showing that it occurred in accordance with those laws. By virtue of the realization of certain specified antecedent conditions, Hempel and Oppenheim, 1948, specifically, they define the concepts as follows. By the explanandum, we understand the sentence describing the phenomenon to be explained by the explanands. The class of those sentences which are adduced to account for the phenomenon, Hempel and Oppenheim, 1948, the crucial comment with respect to the scientific method, is given as follows. It may be said, that an explanation is not fully adequate unless its explanations, if taken account of in time, could have served as a basis for predicting the phenomenon under consideration. It is this potential predictive force which gives scientific explanation its importance. Only to the extent that we are able to explain empirical facts can we attain the major objective of scientific research, namely not merely to record the phenomena of our experience, but to learn from them, by basing upon them theoretical generalizations which enable us to anticipate new occurrences and to control, at least to some extent. The changes in our environment, Hempel and Oppenheim, 1948, other examples, constitutum, that which gets made up, constituted, e.g., a legal constitution, constituents, that which makes it up, e.g., the constituents who are authorized to make a constitution, definiendum, that which is being defined, definins, that which constitutes a definition, explicandum, that which gets explicated, explicans, that which gives the explanation.